The brand new Cyclops Roadhog skin is finally here, and today we're going to be deciding if the skin is worth it or not. So right now, the Cyclops Roadhog bundle is in the item shop for 2,200 Overwatch coins. We have the Cyclops skin, plus this victory pose, and this highlight intro. And so this could be considered a really big deal to you uh, if you like getting these skins because normally this skin for, would go for 1900 overwatch coins since this is a legendary skin but you get a victory pose and a highlight intro for 300 more coins so take that as you will so let's take a look at this thing in our inventory so up first let's take a look at this face so you might just be like okay uh, why is this skin like this white purple gray color and his face is this brown light brown color that's because it's a mask that is a big thing right there. This is supposed to be a Cyclops skin, and it doesn't even really have that Cyclops feature other than it being a mask. You know, I saw the skin in the locker before, and I didn't even realize this was a mask until right now, but we do have that one eye. It, it, it kind of just looks like a, a, a brown clay mask, which is really cool. It has a cool little brow up here, kind of giving it a little angry face. He has a little spike up on the head, which is actually part of the actual body. A cool beard and some tusks coming out of his mouth. But again, I will say that this is a mask, so I really feel like that takes off a little bit of the quality points on this skin. It does have some worn rope back here, but anyways, on the skin, like I said, it is just kind of like blue, purple, and white kind of colors, and we have all these like little lacerations, scratches, and these little like horns coming out of the skins, like these little black horns you can see it all over the bottom, all over the hands, the the shoulders, just literally everywhere coming out of the skin. But anyways, onto the shoulder, on his right shoulder right here, we have this little skull actually being put on his like on his shoulder as a piece of armor and it's actually taped to him with rope which is really cool i will admit that is pretty cool detail and it has another part of this bone structure down here on the side going down where it, this kind of looks like it's a, a the ship hull almost this doesn't look like i can't tell if this is leather or if this is wood it does look like it's moving so you know it might actually be leather but it is this rope is actually secured to this piece of leather on these little gold facets and honestly that is really cool i really like these little gold things going actually all the way around the skin they're kind of just like little mini suns and this one actually has a little horn on it and the the leather is actually worn as well so that is actually some really cool details i really do like the fact that it is worn and not just like pristine fine leather but anyways going on down the rest of the army actually have some black cloth actually striped together with some leather with this little gold little buttons right there and that's literally the only thing on the, both arms and they're both exactly the same i mean they're literally exactly mirrored too and i'm okay the hands are also symmetrical for some reason like there's a scratch right there and then there's a scratch right here you know they've been doing that a lot where they actually leave the scars on the exact spots on both arms and they kind of just mirror them and i really wish they wouldn't do that because it would make it a little bit cooler to me if they you know weren't symmetrical we do have a cool little scratch right here on the front of the skin a little button and this is actually an eye one eye to actually signify the cyclops which is really cool i will give it that and that is what's fastening all this together more bone structures right there he has this red cloth underneath as kind of like this little toga with little greek patterns actually lining the outside of it in gold really cool we have some more of that black cloth that we actually saw on the arms actually underneath this leather structure right here and on the back, we have this cool little sword. And usually Reinhardt doesn't have anything on the sword. But this sword is literally fastened to him by a spike coming out of his back on with like leather, like rope tightening around it. It's really cool. We have this cool little, I don't even know what this is. It kind of looks like a coil almost, like a yellow coil with a black sphere on top with gold leaf going around it. And it literally is just a cool little sword on his back. That is very interesting. On his back as well, we actually have this part that actually contains the rope that he throws his hook with. And it has, again, that black circle. It kind of exactly what was around, where was it? It was on this part here. It kind of reminds me a lot of this back here on the back. It has the black sphere with the gold leaf on it. And it just has some worn rope on there. But other than that, he just has some sandals on. And his feet look pretty gross, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, those grippers... They look like they'd be gripping a lot of dirt. So anyways, uh, let's take a look at this hook because let's check that out real quick. It also has that cool little coil 
feature that we saw on the sword with a little black pot on the end and it has this cool little brick structure right here and i don't understand what's going on with this hook because it, it is like you can tell it's really old i don't understand what this top part is I, I, I know it's the hook right here it's just a metal hook and it's very worn but I don't understand what this little part up here is for. I, it kind of looks a little weird to me, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really like the colors on this. Like, it just doesn't feel right. I, I don't know what it is about this, but it just doesn't feel right. I wish it would have been made out of bone or something like we had on the shoulder. That would have been really, really, really cool. But this is very interesting to me. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Let's look at the gun. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I do actually kind of like this. We have the wooden undertones and then the bronze. But what's interesting about this bronze, it is starting to rust and it has that green on it. I love that so much. I love that green on there. That is phenomenal. And then we have some more of that black like marble with the bronze like coloration on it as well. Look at that. I really like all these details on here. That's actually pretty cool. And then take a breather is literally just a broken pot with the little horns that we actually saw all, all over the skin. We have this little handle and this handle is actually broken off. So this isn't actually symmetrical, which I like. So this is asymmetrical and it looks fantastic. And now with the skin being equipped, let's go ahead and look at some emotes. Hand crushers. Head banging. Tuckered out. Secret friend. Big guy. Belly laugh. Boo. Dance. Onto the victory poses, we have pointing to the sky, thumbs up, tuckered out, RIP, toast, mugshot, hologram, on the shoulder, metal, and what's mine is mine. And lastly, the highlight interest, we have little piggy. We have whole hog. Footsteps. Crushing blow. And this is the one that actually came with the skin. Very interesting. And then say cheese. And then feast. And now that we looked at all those, let's take ahead. Let's go ahead and look at these golden weapons of his. So this is what it looks like before his gun and the hook. And this is what it looks like after. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the gold actually makes this gun look a lot better. Like that is very boring compared to this. I really like that they kept those bronze little like colorations underneath like the little oriental details underneath. I like that. I like those ornamental details. Those are beautiful. Oh, this is a beautiful gold weapon. What about this hook? Okay, and see that looks a lot better too. Just having the gold and the black on there is phenomenal. I really don't like this color scheme that we have on the chain hook. I really don't. I don't like how this is like Part of this is a different color than this. I don't like that stick up at the top. I don't like this yellow. It doesn't match anything at all. But the gold really looks good on that hook. Like, this is perfect. This is amazing. All right, let's check out this animated intro for Hog. Okay, very interesting. You know, honestly, it doesn't look terrible like that. He actually looks kind of cool. Up close, that scar on his left, like, chest up there, that looks really cool. The, the mask does look really cool up close. I will give it that. I still don't like that yellow just sticking out of his back. You know, I wish it would have just been black or just gold. That would have looked a lot better than that. But anyways, let's check this thing out in game. Does he say anything? This Odyssey ain't over. That is awesome. That is such a cool... We got a little unique voice line for him as well. That is beautiful. Much love for them adding a unique voice line. So anyways, let's check this thing out. So up first, let's just look at this gun. You can see that bronze and the little the rust of that green rust coming through it is that looks beautiful on that gun you can actually see the other bronze and black details on right behind the barrel right there and you can see like the scratches all over the gun really 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 cool you can see also little jiggle physics on that chain down there this is what the hook looks like when you actually are meleeing and you know in game it doesn't look that terrible because you actually can't see that yellow handle but just knowing it's there it really bothers me i do not like that yellow handle i really don't but i will say the the coloration on the hook is also a little weird to me i wish it would have been like maybe a bronze as well instead of that silver it would have looked really cool you can actually see that wrap on his left arm as well and his little fingers actually have those little spikes so anyways this is what it looks like when we actually shoot you can see the recoil on that thing was Reload animation, throw some more garbage in there. Here is that right click, another animation. All right, this is what it looks like when we actually use his take a breather. 
you can see that broken pot. That is so cool. And he just throws it down. Look at that broken pot. I actually really like that. And now for the hook. I'm really hoping they kept at least the rope. Come on. Oh, yes, the rope is still there. Amazing. Fantastic. Much love. I'm so glad they did that. That actually looks really cool. Another take a breather. Super cool. I love that broken pot, dude. I, I genuinely, I think that's so cool. I will say, it, you can't really tell that the yellow on the handle is there in-game, or I like, guess very hardly noticeable for that little tip on the hook as well. Like, you can't even see it when you hook it, so it's not even that big of a deal. All right, let's check out this ult real quick. Now that we've gone through pretty much his entire kit, let's check this out. Nice, look at that gun, bro. Dude, honestly, that does look really cool on there. I like that. I like that gun. It actually does look really cool with the little attachment on there. And now we've gone through all that, let's talk about this skin. So pretty much, um, negatives first, that's how we always do this. Negatives is a immediately the mask. You know, I really don't like the fact that there is a mask instead of them going through and adding like an actual Cyclops face to it. I feel like there might actually be a Cyclops underneath the skin itself. Like, underneath that mask, there might actually be a Cyclops, and he just made a mask to make it a little bit prettier. I don't know. But I really, really wish they would have just given us a Cyclops face. I really feel like that would have been a lot cooler than a mask that isn't even, you know, I just, I don't like it. I don't, I don't even really like that. I also hate the fact that the handle on the hook and the sword on the back of him is yellow. It looks horrible, in my opinion. I genuinely hate that. I also really wish we would have gotten a little bit more detail on the skin as well. Like, there really isn't much. There's literally just black cloth and a few, like, pieces of cloth covering his whole body. And other than that, the details really come down to the skin. Like, the, the blue-purple color of the skin and the spikes. I mean, other than that, there's really, really nothing. The feet are also disgusting. Just saying. Positives, I will say, I love the gold weapon. The gold weapons look beautifully, fantastically done, amazing. They even added a unique voice line for when you get into the game. Super duper cool. I mean, I can't complain much with that. I really do like the color of the body as well. I like the, the you know, I like the thought of a Cyclops. I just feel like they didn't execute it well. I really don't think that they did too good of a job on this skin. I, I really I really do like aspects of it, such as the broken pot, as this take a breather. The gun looks phenomenal in my opinion. The hook is definitely all right. Um, but overall, I really don't think the skin is one of the better like hog skins we have. I'm gonna have to give this skin like a six out of 10. It, it is, that's hard for me to say because I was expecting a lot coming out of this, but a six out of 10 seems like a fair rating. It just doesn't live up to all the expectations I had for it. And because of that, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna have to say that I don't think this legendary Cyclops Roadhog skin is gonna be worth it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all later.